What's up, everyone? This is all Destroyer 229, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 5. Maybe make sure we don't get. Oh, wow, they were actually sort of onto us. Last time, we continued to make our way through Kaneshiro's bank. Uh, we ended up facing off against, well, a number of different guards that stood in our way. But now we are at the edge of the true vault. At the end of last time, we did manage to pick up a notebook that Kaneshiro dropped in his haste. And with it came some very odd Show me your letters and numbers. In this episode, we've rid ourselves of those nuisances. Yes, we have. In this episode, we are going to head on down into that area where, well, hopefully, the treasure awaits us. All right, I just kind of wanted to get rid of them, not only just to earn a bit more money, but also so that way I wouldn't have to worry about them during the intro. Anyway, let's call upon this elevator. And then, make our way down. Hey, wait! Hold on, that would mean... You know what's one thing I really don't like about this area? They put a safe room right by where Kaneshiro is that you really can't access until after you beat that mid-boss. And then right afterwards, a safe room might be there's another you. safe room. Yeah, I mean, I like this dungeon be just because I like its a general, uh, well, the music, uh, beforehand. Like, I consider, like, this dungeon seemed to be one of my favorites in the game. But the safe room placement is just... It's questionable at best. There's really not that many, and just having these two right after one another... Not exactly the greatest placement for these things. Okay. But at the very least, we have ourselves a new safe room, so that way, in case something happens, we'll just end up back here. Plus, at the very least, what's nice about this little area is the fact that, well, we're going to be doing a bit of backtracking in this vault section. So, it's actually nice to have some place that we can just go back to and basically save our progress as we go through it. <laughs> just how twisted he is so then what exactly do we do well we came over here there was this pin entry panel
indeed. R equals C equals zero, I equals one, and H equals two. Sure, it sounds simple enough. Agreed. So yes, one of the main things about this portion of the palace is that we will go to these panels and try to enter a certain password. So what we want to do is that we want to, if we need any refresher on what letters correspond to the numbers, we just need to head on over to our key items. So in order to spell out rich, we would need to put in the following combination. Indeed. And Fox is going to remind us once again. So that would be zero. One, zero, two, and then enter. So yes, Fox is right. It's not going to be as simple as just putting in the rich over and over again. Instead, uh, actually, huh, I figured we would actually be able to see another pin marker, but I don't think there actually is one over here. Oh well. So what exactly we need to do would be to find various pages on Karnashiro's journal in order to find more letters. Those letters will co correspond to other words that we will need to access this vault further. And so that means we have to go through these miniature portions in order to... In order to get to where we need to be. I'll reveal your and that means fighting more enemies. Yeah, I'm not exactly looking too great in terms of my uh my stats. But we should still be looking pretty alright. Ooh! New enemy! The Battle Fiend! Oh, what are you lot weak to? I don't know what you're weak to. Are you at least susceptible to charm? Yes, okay, so that helps. Uh, how about physical? That works. Um... Hmm... 
this point. He's knocked down, so he'll take additional damage. So, oh, sweet! Weak the wind! Okay. Uh, let's go and see if we can't just try to get you immediately. Yes! <laughs> I love it when I can shortcut my way. And now we got Rakshasa. Actually, I didn't actually do any sort of Persona fusions, I just realized. Is that a new mask, Joker? Whoops. Oh, well, we're gonna be back to that safe room soon enough anyway, since we're going to be heading back to that area periodically okay. throughout this final portion of the palace. So we'll get back to that in due time. But until then... Uh, ah, yes. These saves can also go and, you know, kind of change whether or not they're open or closed, which can open up various different ways for us to traverse this area. Uh, there's a chest over here. So let's go ahead and just hide right here. Wait for the dog to get back over. And strike! Show me your true form! Okay. Yikes, sorceresses do not really give all that much money. But anyway, we can enter in through here. Joker, there's a treasure chest. We can get more money. And we can open the chest. Normally I don't wait for those lines, but I just like that line of Fox. It's like, maybe we could get more money. I have something. Uh, you do you, Fox. Anyway, item that we got. Do, 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 do. If I can get to the right thing. The wild clogs, which resist fear. Not exactly that great, but hey, if we need it, then we can get it. Ah, hello. Point. So yes, these journals pages that we're going to find can be found within these more elaborate piggy safes. And these will have additional words for us in order to uncover. This is... Or at the very least, letters. So yes, as we saw, P equals I, and I equals 1. So if we see anything that has a P for a code, that correlates to a 1. And then Show we can go ahead and kill you! I may just need to stop asking for money just because it's enemies don't seem to be really giving me a whole lot. Now, Rakshasa only gave me like less than 500 yen, I what think. A skill. Ooh, but. Ooh! Fox got Rising Slash. It's a heavy physical attack, which is very nice. So it's another tier up. Plus, if we use it after Fox has a baton pass. It gets even more powerful. Oh, that is a very nice skill. Okay. Okay, well, we didn't get all that much money, I but still. It. It's always nice to get more money and experience. And now that we're level 25, ooh. All right, once we get back to that main room, I'm absolutely going to head on over to the Velvet Room because now we can actually... We have the level to fulfill... Uh, the request for Caroline and Justine. So, all we have to do is just make the necessary persona and we're I good. I mean, we need to do... Mm, it's there's a bit more than we need to do, but really it is something that we can do. I suppose the Rakshashas don't really give that much money to okay. just straight up kill them anyway, but... no, oh well. 
whenever I see the pause, like, I fully expect it to be like, rare enemy? Uh, not quite. Somewhere. There's stuff over down that way, but I believe where we need to go. Junior, there's a chest. Or this can just be a bonus. Ooh, a bead. That is super nice. Uh, okay. Uh, let's maybe not head on over that way. And instead, head down here. How careless. Let's attack. Of course. Show me your true form. Not quite what I wanted to do, but it'll still work. And I'm gonna level up for Mona. Ooh. Gets Diorama! Nice! And his next skill okay. is Gorla, which is also very nice. Alright, so we just gotta keep on traversing. I would rather kill him so that way he doesn't prove to be a problem later. Uh. Mm. Come on. There we go! I'll reveal your true form. Five enemies, all weak to nuclear. And fire break for Panther. It's okay. Not the greatest okay. skill in the world, though. They were too weak to bother with. Okay, so over this yeah, way. Fortunately, yeah, this area is a bit maze-like. But it's still. Well. It's still not that hard to really traverse through. And, aha! We found ourselves in another pin panel. Hmm. And this one says reap. Unfortunately, though, we don't have everything that we need. Um, because I know for a fact that we don't have an A. Focus. So there's still another piggy bank here that houses another uh, torn page. So we're just gonna have to look around for a little bit. It shouldn't be that hard to find, though. Well, I found it. <laughs> shouldn't be that hard to find. Find it immediately. Um. E equals nine, A equals three. Nice. You got it. Although I am the thankful that I'm finding a lot more of these more expensive treasures. Those rare coins and gems, those are going to sell for quite a bit. And I could always use more money. We are just over 100,000 yen. Which I means it's a nice chunk of change, but we do need something pretty soon that's going to require a lot of money in order to get. Okay, so R-E-A-P. So that's zero, nine, Three, one, zero, nine, three, one. Hmm. Okay, just gotta make sh Sorry for skipping through the dialogue. I just want to make sure I don't forget it. Zero, nine, three, one. There we go. Yes. 
are deep inside his palace. Normally I would have gone out and explore, but since we're not doing a history lesson, and since we've already gotten everything, yeah, let's head straight over there. Saves us a little bit of time in trying to get out of here. Anyway, now that we've done that, the next way is open. Yeah. So the next one is way over there. I don't think there's anything stealable over this way. But I mentioned that I would go take a quick trip to the Velvet Room, and I will! I mean, I'm getting rid of two physical personas to get an even better physical persona. So we are fusing away Yaxini and Rakshasa. In order to fuse Kinki. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Now I mentioned that I needed to get rid of quite a bit of space. Uh, the biggest reason I'm going back here is because I do want to try to get Floros. Uh, I will go ahead and get Giant Slice and Tarukaja. Significant power. Before I do that, for one, I need to get back another persona, and two, I need to raise up a different persona. Girls. Let us begin. So now that I have the level to actually make the persona, now is about as good as time to actually get everything that I need. So he gets Dodge PSI and Sludge Hammer. Uh, not exactly great with Giant Slice, but next is Bad Beat, which has a chance for Despair. Interesting. I mean, he doesn't really need any additional spells, but it will help. So we are fusing away Genbu and Angel in order to fuse... Elagor. Select the skills you'd like to enhance. I needed to buy back Angel for this, and I made an especial note to make sure that I kept her. Or at the very least, bought her back. It's more so keeping Genbu. I want Zeo, I want Aha, and Defense Master. Because that'll be a nice skill to pass down. Now for a Reaper. line for a Duke of Hell to say. But at the very least, he gains a level up. Not enough to get double fangs, but then again, that wasn't exactly the reason why I fused him. Alright, I know I'm fusing away a persona that I actually kind of need, but this at least makes up for having, well, I'm gonna need a temperance persona. That's all that really matters. So we are fusing away High Pixie and Elagor in order to fuse Nigimitama. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. All right. So considering it's gonna get Divine Grace, I'm going to want the Adama. Defense Master would be really nice, and then I'll pass down Augie and Zeo. It will receive Fire, Electricity, power. and Light. Girls, let us begin. All 
right. All right. And they'll at least get Divine Grace. Next is Maypatra. So not exactly a bad skill. Baisuri will help because, I mean, they'll get rid of Burn, Freeze, or Shock. So that would be nice, assuming we're not the ones that are suffering from Burn, Freeze, or Shock. Maybe not necessarily Burn would be a problem, but the other two would. Alright, so that's all that I wanted to do in terms of fusions. So this is what my current Persona deck is looking like. Um, didn't really get rid of too many of the good Personas that I had. Uh, the only ones that really made a difference was that I bought back Andras as well. Because Andras is the one that's gonna learn Tarukaja. So I need to have him equipped. And then kind of hope that I can just take care of any foes that get in my way. We're here. Let's or at the very on. least have my allies be able to take care of any foes that stand in our way. Alright, let's do this. Although I am starting to run dangerously low on SP again. Uh, that should be good. I'll give a couple to Panther as well. We are starting to run a little bit low on time, but I did spend a fair amount in the Velvet Room. So I think we can head on down to this area and explore what lies beyond here. Alright, I mean, it won't take that much to get this Persona up to where it needs to. What? Who are these rats? Crap, I did not see that there were cameras there. Well, darn. So, so I guess that shows you what happens when you trigger the cameras. Oh well, it's not like it raises it that much. Yes, Alright, and that kills both of them, yeah. Okay, so now I need to make sure I am especially careful from now on. Okay, so we've got a few places we can go. We can head up this way or head through the door. I'm going to proceed to head up this way because there is treasure up this way. Um, I think we actually have to head up this way, but I'm going to head through the door anyway just so I can show you what lies beyond. So, yeah, this is impassable. We cannot get through here. And so you may be thinking, well, was that because you triggered the alarms? No, it's not because I triggered the alarms. It's because that is always there. So, yeah, no way to get through aside from heading up over here and heading on into the ventilation shaft to get on the roof. Treasure chest spotted. Must be something good inside. Uh, there are a few other things, like that treasure over there. But we need to disable all of these, uh, like, electrical wires before we can actually do anything about that. I, however, am going to head on over this way and open up the lock chest. Oh. We still have some lock picks left. So let's see what lies inside. We get a Peacemaker HP and an Aquamarine. Okay, so a gun for Queen. Peacemaker HP. Mile gun on one that looks very powerful, so slightly more accurate and a hell of a lot more sh powerful. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, there's plenty of stuff over that way, but not much we can do about that. Instead, we are just going to... Yeah, I mean, there's... One of the piggy banks down there, but we need to be able to disable these uh, electrical wires because that is how we are going to actually get access to uh, that area. Uh, we can open this up. Uh, however, ooh, well, at the very least, that does allow us to access this. U equals A. Okay, 
Okay, so that is something to keep in mind. We'll check exactly what we need when we actually find the pin code. Or the pin access terminal. Uh, I don't see anything that's stealable. There's a shadow up ahead. The decision is yours, Joker. Let's get him. Feel your true form. All right. Unfortunately, since I am going I for really weak. well, experience on a pretty low-level persona, it's gonna be a little bit dangerous to try to really do Somewhere. much with him. But hey, if I play my cards right, I should be relatively okay. Ah, uh, just gotta go through here. There's the panel, and there we go! And down goes all of the lights. So I'll grab this. Yeah, well, whatever. Can't all be winners in terms of loot. Uh, nothing much else up here. I will, however, take that gem. Right, and there's one of the piggy banks. Just kind of out by itself. With another page. Hmm? G equals P. Alright, now if I'm correct. Yup! I knew it! I knew it would be a trap, and I will go ahead and jump on you! Yeah, Mona! Nicely done! There we go! And now Andras got Tarukaja, which was exactly the skill that we needed. Okay. So next time we're in the velvet room, my brushes. we can go ahead and actually make what we need. Uh, I, however, am going to switch on over to... Uh, switch on over to Suzaku. I still would like to get that skill. Spawn the other one, just so that way we can get more money and experience, because we could always use more money and experience. And then Show just ambush it. Okay. Got a decent chunk of money from that one. Alright, so now that we got that taken care of, I can feel we it. have a few more things over here. I'll swipe that piggy bank, and I'll swipe this piggy bank. And then promptly kick this. That disables the rest of the security. So there's our pin. Uh, however, I'm going to jump down here and go and infiltrate the rest of this spot. You may be wondering, why exactly are you doing this now? Well, once we uh, unlock the, well, lock, uh, we'll still get that prompt to take us back out. So what I'm doing instead is just going around here, getting this midnight ring, and seeing what other treasures await us down here. So the midnight ring, where is it? There it is. Reduce curse damage. Okay, decent. Not really encountering many enemies that really use darkness, though. I have something. And that is a bounce it in terms of the security thing so yeah let's let's maybe get back to where we need to be thankfully when you don't have to deal with traps or enemies it really doesn't take that long to get back here uh... Okay, so we know what we need. So, let's see. So first is H. So H is two. 
U is A, which is three, so two, three. G, which is P, which is one, so two, three, one. Two, three, one, nine. Uh... Again, going through it quickly so that way I can remember it. So, two, three, one, nine. Let's go. Yeah, it sounds like Konoshiro's been through some crap before, but it doesn't give him an excuse to do what he's doing now. Now we head on over this way. Yeah. do is just make it through this entire key section and we can see there is someone guarding the way to the next one so we're gonna want to be a little bit more prepared before taking him on but now is about as good as time as any to call it a day so next time on let's play persona 5 we can see that there's a sign right here that we can't examine anyway we are going to continue heading on through this portion of the palace. We still have quite the area to get through. As you can see, we, there's still a bit more to this mechanism that, that we need to, well, get through. So, it's still going to be a little while longer, but if we can make it through this floor... We'll be right where the treasure is. It won't be that much longer now, but we still have to push onward for just a little bit longer. We're hurting quite a bit, but we'll be able to survive. So until next time, everyone, take care.